Hello and welcome to my Gareth Barry review. Now, for those of you that have not visited my channel before, be sure to check out my other player reviews as well as my Road to Glory series with Charlie Sheringham. But now on to with Gareth Barry. 46 pace, 71 dribbling, 73 shooting, 82 defending, 84 passing and 76 heading. He's played 9 games for me, scoring 1 goal and getting himself 5 assists, medium to high work rates, which is perfect. Now as you'll see his, his in-game stats, I won't read them all out, but look how many greens there are. He's just incredible. His stats are absolutely brilliant. Decent aggression and interceptions there. Obviously, the downside to him is his lack of acceleration and his lack of strength, but his strength and reaction sort of make up for that. Now, for me, what I'm going to say, and please excuse me if I sniff because I don't feel great. Um, for me, he's perfect. He's the sort of holding midfield player that is ideal. Now, he doesn't have the pace of someone like Ramirez and he will never... Um, and that mill, you know, it might let you down. But for me, as you see here, he just sits right in front of the defence. Um, and he's just that perfect little pass into the middle of the park each time. He sits right in front of the defence. He's not afraid to get forward either or create a couple of chances. But his main role for me was just sitting in front of the defence. Now, obviously, his his pace is a bit of an issue um, when it comes to tackling. But as you know, it's most people are not with the team nowadays. Just hoof the ball over your midfield anyway. So it's not much of an issue. For me, his passing was fantastic. Uh, as I said, his positioning was absolutely brilliant. As you see here, he's just so inclined to get into the play. It's unlucky there because... Um, Danny Sturridge is offside, but time and time again, he's so happy just to find that space, that 10 yards of space in the middle of the pitch, which for me is brilliant because I like to pass the ball around. If you're the sort of person that wants a bit of pace in there, he's not going to be ideal for you. And obviously that 46 pace is a bit of a letdown, but that is, in my opinion, his only letdown. His interceptions are brilliant. He reads the game very well. He pushes players off the ball, as you just saw there, Soldado. And attacking-wise, he's fantastic as well. There, Defensively, there, he just got himself a nice tackle, a nice little block shot. Um, tackling again there and just winning the ball back and just wanting to play with it um, obviously there with that tackle on the stroke of half time he didn't get booked because it was literally half time as I slid now into what he can offer you attacking wise which he shouldn't be there too often because he is your centre defensive midfielder but he does have medium work rates uh, attacking work rates should I say he does get forward a little bit um, and he does do quite well up there as well he's got fantastic free kick stats which sadly I didn't manage to score his shooting lets him down a little bit his um, I think his freestyle weak foot is a bit poor, but I mean, he's not expected to be up there anyway. But as you'll see, when he wins the ball back so often, just him winning the ball back, it just leads to a counter. Look at that one pass there to Wiltshire, one more ball through and a bomb the horse away. And I think he knocks this one wide, but you can see what I'm trying to get out. When he wins the ball back, just because he's so, so sort of composed on the ball and so good on the ball, one pass and you're in with him. He's not obviously the most creative player you're ever going to use, but he is decent enough. Here I get the ball wide. Obviously, I can't sprint past him, so you have to come up with better ideas. You can't just run down the line and bomb it past anybody with him, if, of course, he's on the wing for some reason. But when you do get it out there, his crossing is unbelievable. I think it was 89 curve. His crossing was 80, high 80s. And it's just time and time again. As you see there, he wins the ball back. One through ball. Adam Lallana pings this in off the post. It just goes to show you how quickly the game can, ch can change whenever he's on the ball because his passing is just unbelievable. Altogether, I'm going to give him a 8.5 out of 10. I think the pace is the only thing that lets him down. You'll see here a lack of clips of him actually making tackles because, as I said, everybody just hoofs the ball nowadays. So making the tackles in DM spot is quite hard. His finishing obviously lets him down. But as a CDM, you're not expecting him to be up there. I got myself one goal, as you see here. Decent enough penalty into the top corner. And that is a review, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, don't be afraid to comment, subscribe, and leave me any suggestions of players you'd like to see. And check out my Road to Glory series. It will be on the screen right now. And as always, thanks for watching.